Hi, in this video, what I want to do is show you how to set up your images so that you can have them all laid out side by side. And I'm going to do it using a bit, little bit of coding. I'm not a coder and I've just picked this up and found this out and I want to share it with you. And I'm also using WordPress. So here I have one of my blog posts and I have a, an affiliation with Amazon and I want to use images of some of the books that are mentioned in an interview that I do and I want to feature those images but the problem is as I scroll down the images are actually one under the other and there's a lot of empty space on the right hand side and I want to clean that up so that the images are side by side going from left to right you know people do not have to keep on scrolling down they probably give up and they don't like it to be honest it doesn't look good unless you have a bit of writing to the side of it unless you have some kind of review that you might like to post there but i'm not going to do that i just want the, the image lined up side by side and easily accessible to the reader so what i want to do is get to a situation and where i do this on another blog post the images are side by side and you can click on these images and it'll bring you to the, the link the Amazon link okay here's my blog post opened up on WordPress and I have the images featured here in order to get the code that Amazon has given me to put these images on display I need to click here on text and get out of visual so text will bring me back to all this coding that I don't know I, I don't understand all it is is the writing that I've done and the self coding that WordPress offers. So I'm going to go to where the books are. And here we have the start of the books. Usually it's given here where you have the link. And I have them equally spaced out so it can, I can easily identify it. And I'm just going to skip a line here at the, that first image of a book. And I'm going to use the following code. I'm going to put this in the comment section. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in here. Next, I'm going to get this little bit of coding and that's going to finish off that particular, if you want to call it a paragraph, which represents the, the book, the image of the book. So I'll copy that and again, I'll place it here. And I'm going to do that for every image or code for the image I have 11 books here so just 11 times you might as well do it all at once you'll see here at the very end there's two of them and that closes off the grouping of books that we're working toward putting together. So I'm going to space return and place another one here at the end. Now we need to have something again at the beginning of each book, just like the way I had done it earlier on at the beginning of the very first book, this one. So let's see the coding that we need to put in. It's this one here. Okay. It's very same as the second line that I play, uh, placed in at the first book. And also you'll see it's repeated at each, at the beginning of each book. And again, I have 11 books, so I'm just gonna quickly work through each one of these. that's it now I've chosen on that bit of coding that I just placed as here 5 px that's just telling us you can put any number in here you can put zero in here if you want to if you want the books to be right up against each other with no margin either side or you can put in as I have done here five which gives us a nice little margin either side it almost frames the book I'm just going to click on visual here just to before the update it to see how that looks. And there we go. Okay. So I'll update that. So this is it before. 
doesn't look at all appealing and what we have after thanks very much for watching this video and i'm going to put a link showing the, showing you the code that you can use as well for your own wordpress blog posts